Okay, so recently I did a video cooking an entire chicken in the crock pot or in the slow cooker. And a lot of you asked if I could do a turkey. So here we go. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a 10 pound turkey in an eight quart crock pot. It's so easy and convenient, especially when you are cooking other things for your holiday dinner. Here we go. Okay, crock pot turkey. So I'm gonna get right into it. I'm working with, this is somewhere between 10 to 11 pound turkey. I've already removed everything from the center. This is completely thawed. Um, preemptively, I wanna say, it doesn't matter how you're going to cook your turkey, you need to make sure you allow yourself two to three days to thaw it properly in the refrigerator. And once it's thawed, I like to set it on the counter for at least 30 minutes to an hour to remove the chill. This will ensure that your turkey cooks evenly. So there's that, completely thawed, cleaned from the center. I've rinsed it in cold water and I patted it dry. And there's the turkey. I'm going to season it with a combination of, this is like a seasoning salt, two to three, uh, it's closer to three teaspoons of seasoning salt. Here I have smoked paprika, regular paprika, lemon pepper, this is a salt-free lemon pepper, granulated garlic powder, granulated onion powder. I have a teaspoon of poultry seasoning and underneath this I have a teaspoon of rubbed sage. I use pretty much a teaspoon of everything with the exception of the salted seasoning blend. Season your turkey how you like. I'm also going to just slather it in a stick of semi-softened half melted butter and it's as simple as that. And I am working with an eight quart crock pot. So let's prep the turkey. I'm gonna start by mixing up my dry seasonings. And like I said, season how you like. Everyone has their own method and own tastes of what they wanna season their turkey with. You could also get aromatics ready for the cavity. I'm not doing any of that. This is just an easy way I like to make crock pot turkey. I also find the less fresh ingredients that you put in the crock pot, um, it'll yield less water content, which sort of helps the skin to kind of get a little crispy on the exterior. If it's boiling in water, it's more, it'll steam instead of cook and yield um, a somewhat snappy skin. It's not gonna be extra crispy or anything, but that's just, I don't know, that's my take on that. Okay, this is mixed. Okay, so the turkey, let's flip it around here. Um, you'll want to lock the wings in the back and all you do is you take like this part of the wing and just fold it to the back and it keeps the wing tucked. I'm not even going to really trust the legs because the crock pot is a snug space that everything will kind of stay together. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of pat everything because I'm going to slather it in butter. Again, use the technique you like. Some people love to use olive oil um in place of butter some people just skip it and season it i do that sometimes it just depends on you know what you like now i'm going to take my butter and i'm going to probably use it all i've already touched it <laughs> and just you know you can get some under the skin which is always a good you know you guys love to let me know that you love to put butter under the skin and just get in there Work the butter all over the un underneath it as well. I'm gonna take my dry seasoning and add it to the cavity. Let me show you. Here we go. And just backside. Okay, turkey going in. And I'll clean up the sides. But it's very snug in here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle more of my seasoning on any exposed area like here. So using the crock pot method, like I stated earlier, um, you know, it's not gonna give you that crispy oven roasted, you know, when you kind of do it without the bag, it's just an oven roasted turkey. You get that deep golden brown, snappy, crispy skin. Okay, so you're not gonna achieve that, but um, if you exclude any of the aromatics that typically go with the turkey, it lessens the moisture in the crock pot. So you might look out and get more of like a rotisserie chicken type skin. 
And that's what I'm going for. This is why I didn't add aromatics into the cavity. You 100% uh, can do that. I'm not going to do that because I'm, I'm trying to really get that rotisserie skin with using the crock pot method. The way I do my uh, roasted chicken or my chicken in a crock pot. Okay, so I've coated that looking wonderful. So all I'm going to do is cover with a lid. I'm going to set this to high and you let it cook. Um, always check internal temperatures. I'm not even going to lift the lid based nothing. This is a set it and forget it crock pot turkey. It alleviates having to use the oven and it's just so much easier to do things this way, especially when you're cooking a holiday meal. Okay, so this is definitely done. And let's lift the lid. Woo. The little button definitely poked out. And you can already tell the skin pulled back from the bone on the leg. This little thing popped out. And yeah, that's crock pot turkey. And I can already tell this is gonna be falling apart. Look at the, the breakdown of the wings on the side. So this is probably not gonna come out in one whole piece. I'm gonna remove this. Can I remove it? There we go. So I am gonna remove the turkey and let it rest uh, on a baking sheet before carving it or cutting it up. So I'm taking the ends of wooden spoons and I'm gonna insert it into the cavity of the turkey carefully. Oh, and remove it. Woo, things will be falling off. Very, very tender. This to get this out. This is my turkey. It has fallen apart. Some people, you know, do like to let the turkey rest or put it under a broiler for a minute or so to get a little bit of crispy golden brown skin. I just think this turkey is going to be tender and juicy, and that's what I'm going for. <laughs> and it's so convenient making it in the crock pot. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.